And what was sad is that the more he did wrong things, the more I also got into the lies. Mm. You understand? So I'm married to a liar. I'm now perceived as the liar. Because even he, he, the business deals that he used to go in, Rami, they were bad business deals. Sure. Whereas sometimes you would be sitting quietly in your house and then people be coming to your house and saying your husband owes us money. Hi, and welcome to the Tea World podcast with your host with the most, Queen Rami. We are a home of life-changing conversations. We share life experiences. Let's share your journey of restoration. I love you. Hello everybody, my name is Queen Rami and you are more than welcome to our podcast, The Tea World. If you are by any chance watching me for the very first time, Bona, make sure you stay, make sure you subscribe. This is The Tea World Podcast. It is indeed a new episode and as always, we are fully sponsored by The Scent Studios and I'm wonderfully dressed by Queen Rami's clothing range. Make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms. Would you like to come and share your journey with us make sure you are there on instagram on my dms and come and join our family here and once again i have a lovely guest in our midst hey the gorgeous <laughs> pindila in the house <laughs> Welcome. Thank you so much, awesome. Rami. Thank, thank you for having me. You are oh. welcome. I'm humbled, actually. Oh, thank you, You know, Rami. from TikTok to Sand Studios. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm really honored. Yeah, thank you, Rami. Thank you for having me. Amen. So for somebody who's watching us at home, who is Pindile? First of all, Pindile is a mother. Okay. I always say that is my highest calling. Like, mm. I love being my ma a mother. I mm. love my sons. Mm. I have two boys. Okay. And Pindile is a businesswoman. I'm okay. in clothing and textile manufacturing and project management. Ooh. Pindle is a published author yes. as well. You know, Pindi wears many hats. She's a daughter. She's a sister. She's a friend. Like, yes, that's just mm, I love that. Thank You're you. You're talking about you being an author. Mm -hmm. But before we get to your books, how did you grow up? Sure. Okay, that's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> Make it as short I'm as possible. 42 years old. <laughs> okay, so um, I grew up, I was born in Rustenburg. Oh, shout in out. A, in a village. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go to the village. I'm going to go to the village. So I was born in Rustenburg <laughs> in a village called Puking. Okay. And then from there, um, Mama and Papa then moved to the city of Gold, Johannesburg. Mm. Mm. And I'm called Pindile Yende. I'm Zulu. Okay. But was Swana. And it was only because Papa, because the father passed away when we were still very young. So how could you And then what happened is then when they moved then to Johannesburg, mm -hmm. I stayed in Soweto. Okay. From Soweto, we then moved to the West Rand, to Rodiport, when Mandela came out of prison and black people were now advancing to, you know, to, to live better lives and all of that. Mm. Um, I did most of my schooling in Johannesburg, and then I did my tertiary education at the University of Pretoria. Okay. And then from there, I was also given an opportunity to go study at Clark Atlanta University to do business entrepreneurship in the U.S. Mm. And then I then, I, at first, I started working in pharmaceuticals. Mm. But then I didn't like it. Actually, okay. in the book, it explains how I actually got out of pharmaceuticals. Okay. And then eventually I decided, just, you know what? Um, my father's a business person. And then I was like, you know what? This is who I am. You mm. know, I, I have, I've grown with a man who's always been into business. I, I want to do this. Yes. And that's how I actually grew the interest to actually start my own business. Mm. And then it was actually by default that I got into manufacturing. I once visited a, a when I was working pharmaceuticals, <coughs> I visited the company that, because um, it was, it was, it's a multinational. Mm -hmm. I visited their factory in Germany, and I was like, oh my gosh, actually, I want to go into production. I want to, mm. I want to start things from scratch, you know, and oh. and produce and do all of that. So that's how my passion for manufacturing actually came about. Mm. Yeah, so that's me, just in a That's nature. beautiful. Yes. You, you've worked very hard, eh? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so take us through the journey of you becoming an author. Rami, you know, I'll tell you, ne? I remember distinctly that I was pregnant. Ne? Okay. And then I, I went to my gynecologist who uh, I was very close to my gynecologist. You know how our relationship is with your gynecologist. Mm, you have close, to be you know? close. <laughs> and then I was like, you know, Doc, I'm actually thinking of writing a book. Mm. And he's like, oh, okay. 
book about what, you mm. know? And I'm like, hey, doc, you know, I'm actually going through a lot, you know. I just want to I wanna write about the things that I'm going through. Yeah. And then the doc, and then my doctor was like, oh, okay, no, that's great. Maybe start journaling something, you mm. know. And I was like, okay, fine. I started journaling. And this was six months within my marriage, Rami. Because I went through so much with my ex-husband before we got married. Okay. And I was overwhelmed. And I just felt like, you know, in our culture, in our black culture, they always say, you don't discuss um, things mm. that are happening within your marriage. Yeah. And I was like, how can I have an outlet? Like, I'm, 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 I'm suffocating here. Mm. I need to talk, you know? <laughs> I need to yeah. talk. So I was like, okay, fine. Then I'm going to start writing a book, you know, and mm. just write about my experience. You know, as you're writing, ne, you realize that, eh, but the things that I want to write in this book, yes. I can't really discuss them. Mm. I can't really put them on a book mm. and, and, and discuss them and, pe I mean, have people actually read yeah. what it is that, that, that I'm going through in my marriage. And then if you read the first chapter of um, Yet You Married Him, Yet mm -hmm. You Married Him, um, it's actually more about me, my experience. But after I wrote the first chapter, I was like, no, I'm not ready to divulge all of this that's happening in my marriage. And then I decided to then write different stories that I've seen, that I've heard mm. from other women. Okay. So the book is based on 22 characters of men. You. Right? I mean, there's um, baby mama drama. There's a chapter on baby mama drama. There's a chapter on new money. There's a chapter on the abuser. There's mm. a chapter on growing up without a father. There's different chapters that actually tell you what your marriage is bound to end up like when you're married to a certain type of man. Mm. Right? And... As I was writing those books as well, I'd also find that, yes, I might have written the first chapter about my personal experience, mm. but in those different characters that I was writing about, I'd find that, okay, this actually personality, it's my ex-husband's personality. Yeah. So I even tell people, I was like, you know what, when you read the second book, which is um, A Marriage Built on Lies, this one, mm -hmm. you will realize that how pindi, but this man, I, can, I find it on the chapter about... Um, a man who's disrespectful about uh, with his parents mm. or the narcissist, you know, because I was married to a, to a narcissist. So you'll find characters of him in, 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 in Yet You Married Him if you start reading, if you started reading um, Yet You Married Him before you read A Marriage Built on Lies. Okay. So that's how I actually started writing the book, whereas I wanted to write my story. So the content mm. that is in A Marriage Built on Lies, mm. it's a content that was meant to be in Yet You Married Him, but I wasn't ready. Okay. And I'm actually glad that I didn't do that because you know when you're in a marriage mm. ne, and you're going through your own troubles and you try to figure out am I staying in this marriage am I leaving in this marriage you do not become objective mm. because of the pain that you're going through yeah. and when you're going through that time as well it's always about you did this to me mm. you are like this whereas you actually forget to think that what is wrong with me? How did I contribute? Yes, what is wrong with me? How did I find myself here? What is my contribution to the situation, as you're saying? Mm. So I'm glad that I, I stopped myself at that point and said, you know what, because mm. so many of us are going through difficulties in our marriages, let me write the different stories that I've heard from other women. I mean, one story, um, just to, 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 to make you um, see how, how I came about the story, mm. I was driving home from Johannesburg. I lived in Hartis at that time when I was married. Yes. I, I skipped a stop street. When I skipped a stop street, a lady cop stops me. Hey, 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 OC. Why now are you skipping stop street? How can no? Oh, no. Crying, I'm crying, I'm crying. Hey, can you know OC? And then I start telling her my story. Wait, see, man, now I got it. So it's a song. Oh, so oh, na lo kore are ah. I'm so sorry. Yo, wa kaya na. Wait, so le so le so le so. She's now telling me. <laughs> she's now telling me her story. Uh. You understand? And I actually included her story in my book. Although, oh, wow. if she was ever to think, if she was ever to read my book, she's like, man. You know, I think I've once told a woman the story about mm. about me. So yeah, so that's how I actually came about it. So when women read, yet you married him, they're going to be able to say, yo, this is my ex that I dated three years ago, or mm. it's gonna, she's going to say, oh my gosh, this is my aunt's husband. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is my friend's boyfriend. So you are able to pick up the different characters of men and the people that you've actually encountered or even your own personal experience. And no, I didn't date 22 men. Because people, <laughs> people tend to think that... <laughs> 
You, you wrote, went. you went through all these 22 yeah, guys. Who told no, you to uh, try guys. all of them? No, 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 guys. That's no, no, that's case. not me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you for that clarity. Mm. So now, take us through the journey of Pindile now meeting your ex-husband. Mm. Because I believe that's what our conversation is about. Mm. And taking us further, what went through in the marriage. And how long you have been with him. Uh, Rami, um, to tell you from the beginning, ne? I met this gentleman, mm. right? Uh, you know, he sees me, he sees nice, young, Born. fresh girl, uh -huh. you know, no kids My yet, type. you know, she's <laughs> career driven, she's, yeah. you know, hey, this guy comes, no, I want to be with you. I end up falling for him, right? Obviously, in the book, I explain exactly mm. how we got to meet, the things he said, the place we met and all of that, we okay. meet. And then eventually, because I didn't want to date him at first, eventually I realized that, ah, you know what, let me give it a try, mm. you know? And when we were dating, Rami, which is something that I tell a lot of women, a lot of things happened, right? Red flags were there. Yeah. You understand? The signs were evident. I can't even say that I heard somebody say, hey, Pindi, mm. stay away. Mm. I saw it with my own eyes. Yeah. You understand? Because sometimes you'd be like, ah, they are lying. I saw it with my own eyes. Ish. But because when we leave tertiary or when we achieve certain things in life, mm. you, you succumb to societal pressure. Whereas, it's time you want to have children. Yeah. And I think the worst is when you're seen your friends getting married. Yeah. And I know it affects a lot of women, whereas my friends are getting married. Mm. What about me? What's wrong right? with me? What's wrong with me? Yes. So I kind of also, that was also happening around me. Where my and, and, and I think for me at that point in time, I had also forgotten that, no, but this friend of mine has been with this guy since first year of varsity. Or, no, this friend of mine has been with this guy for so long. They know each other. For me, it was just like, everybody's getting married. I also need to get married type of a thing, mm. right? And um, also being a girl who, I, I was a tick box girl. It took me a lot of growing up that tick boxes don't work, mm. you know. <laughs> tick box girl, I go to school, get whatever qualification, buy a car, Great. get yeah. my townhouse. <laughs> After that, meet my Prince Charming, buy a house with my Prince mm. Charming, have kids. This is the kind of man I want to be with, you know, all those kinds of things. I was that girl. Okay. And it, it, it actually worked against me because life does not work that way That's you know right. and um though so when i met this man i don't know what it is you know i've realized that men can sense when a woman is desperate <laughs> they can from sense afar. it from afar and they can tell that this one all i need to do is tell her this tell her this mm. tell her this tell her this I've got her, right? right? And I think that's what happened with me when I met my ex-husband, that he saw that I was a girl that wanted to get married. Mm. You understand? So even when the red flags were happening over and over and over again while we were dating, he knew that this one, the one thing, you understand? Yeah. So a person will do something, will cheat on you, but baby, you know you're the one. I will marry you. Mm. A person will go and do whatever wrong things, he will say, no, but I'm going to marry you. And yeah. it kind of like makes you erase all the other bad things that he has done. And you shove things under the carpet. You keep shoving things under the carpet. And then another thing is that when you are then married, when you are about to get married, you think that marriage is going to change this person. Hey. <laughs> but what you don't realize is that a person becomes worse That's in a right. marriage. They become, and when I say worse, it can be good, it can be mm. bad, right? If it's a good person, he'll even become a better man. You're like, oh my gosh, the smack oh, that I married. Oh, where have you been? Oh, the smack. Because <laughs> they're men like that, they right? Are. They're men like Definitely. that where you're like, yo, Mudimu, where does this man, am I even deserving of this man? Mm. And then you'll get the worst where you're like, oh my gosh, what Thank have I put myself, in you know? <laughs> what have I put myself into? <laughs> So it was, it was, for me, it was like, what have I put myself into, as you know? And, and you know, Rami, I think for me, I met this man when I didn't have children. Okay. I met this man whereas my career was doing well. For, I was doing well for myself career-wise. Mm. I could have walked away. Yes. Do you understand? Mm. I could have walked. I had so many chances to walk away, but I didn't walk away. For what? Mm. The ring okay right 
Okay, fine. Then eventually we get married after a whole lot of discoveries, which I go into detail about. I mean, I found out about a child that he had um, and also found out about that he was actually married while he was dating me. Right? Yeah, no. And, and you know, when you are young, you are telling yourself, what ads are like, but in our culture, like, 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 you understand. Right. I know other women will be like, no, as long as he has not signed at home affairs, in our culture, it is, it is marriage. Is you marriage. understand? And then because of him being um, considered the one who made it in the family type of a thing, because he did grow up in a disadvantaged background, it okay. was that thing that he could get away with anything at home. You know, there's nothing as worse as being married to a man that whatever he does, they'll protect him. Mm. You understand? So I was married to, to, to I was married into a family like that yes. where they knew where their bread was buttered so they will protect him whatever it is that he did. You understand? Mm. So you don't have support. The only support that I had was my family. But now the problem is that mm. when you are in love with this person, you just want to paint a perfect picture mm. about him to your family. So there are certain things that I could not go on and say, yo, mama, yes. that's what's yeah. happening. Yo, papa, or my sister, whatever the case may be. So I was uh, hiding a lot. And what was said is that the more he did wrong things, the more I also got into the lies. Mm. You understand? So I'm married to a liar. I'm now perceived as the liar. Because even he, he, the business deals that he used to go in, Rami, they were bad business deals. Sure. Whereas sometimes you would be sitting quietly in your house and then people be coming to your house and saying your husband owes us money. Yes. Do you That's understand? Nice. So you are now perceived as if Bonnie and Clyde, mm. you are doing this thing together. <laughs> you are you in know? it. You are yeah. in it. You know? And as, whereas you, you, are not, you are not even aware that he's doing some of these things. Yes. So I'm married to a man that we go on a date. You understand? You're telling a person, oh, no, I do this, I do that. I come from this type of a background, mm. this and this and this and that. He tells you that he's a doctor. Why lie? Why lie? Yes, it might have seen, seemed like I'm a girl that wants a certain type of lifestyle. Yeah, because but, you, you know, already... But mm. such a lie? Why lie? Why lie? You know, why lie that you don't have a child? Mm. Rami, I, 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 there's one thing about me. Ne? I lived my life, as I told you, that there's certain things that I wanted for myself. Mm. I didn't want to get married to a man with a kid. Mm. And I feel that he had stolen that from me mm. by lying that he doesn't have a child, whereas he had a he child. Had. Mm. You understand? I didn't want to find myself being that woman whom, when a marriage breaks down, they say it is you. And you didn't know about it. Do you understand? Yeah. You find that only later on when you have fallen in love, mm. when you have told yourself that this man says he's going to marry me, yeah. when his family is even telling you that there is no existent marriage. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. So you find yourself in this mess and then when people look at you, what kind of a person do they think you are? Yes. Home wreck. Home wreck. When you are not even when, away. Uh, when you're not away. So it, it So I think for me... Because um, we got divorced and then six months after our divorce. So Rami, let me tell you this. Ne? I knew six months within my marriage that this marriage wasn't going to last. Right? Six months six in. Six months in. So, but then how long were you guys together in the relationship? I stayed in that marriage for six years, Rami. <laughs> fighting and fighting and, and hoping that this man is going to change. But you must also remember that me staying in this marriage was Abantu Bazo team. Yes, Upind is not Upind is not the kind of girl to get divorced. Mm -mm. Upindi has her life in order, yeah. uh, you know, and that killed me. And I know it kills a lot, a lot of women out there. That what are people going to say? Mm. And I stayed. Imagine, whereas you are just enduring, it's heartache after heartache, it's deceit after deceit, it's disrespect after disrespect. Ooh. That's disrespect, Pat. Very. I've had a woman come into my house and sleep in my house when I was away on a, on, on a work trip. Oh, Mara. You know, you come home, your things have been moved around. Mm. Your clothes have been moved around. Your pictures have been moved around. Where you bought and you're like, what's going on? Does, it's not making sense. Yes. Eventually, you're like, no, man, something is weird. Mm. Actually, I, for me, the confirmation was when I took a glass out of my cupboard and I found lipstick on it. So that girl left it for me. Mm. 
She left it for me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Like yeah. this one, this one thinks he's she clever. He thinks know. I can't see that there's a woman in this house. Cause uh, when there's a woman in the house, you can see, Remy. You can you tell. You can tell oh. when there's a woman in the hmm. house. Did you know? Hmm. So she left it for me, and that was clear that okay, this woman clearly slept in my house. Hmm. And then I had to go get video footages, and then it was evident that really sure. the woman was in my house. So your ex didn't know her. There's cameras everywhere. Well, um, I don't think he would have thought that I'd go to the security hmm. to ask for cameras because I saw cameras. Because I saw the camera of the car coming in and he came in with the woman and oh. them exiting the next day to Ooh. see that this woman slept in my bed. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, no, That's disrespect. Rami, that's disrespect. That is disrespect. And you know, Rami, I'm not um I'm not a woman and I know that it maybe it's a controversial thing to say. Mm. I'm not the kind of woman that says that no, my man should never cheat on me. Mm. I know men cheat, but don't disrespect me. Mm -mm, they must not even cheat. No, they must. And I agree with you. That's what I'm saying. It's a controversial thing, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. But I know. I'm not going to say no. Hey, yeah, I'm, mine, I, is, a, yeah. mine is no. I get you. But don't you. disrespect me. Ish, yeah, you understand? No. Yes. Mm. But yeah, so um, that's basically my story. And mm. just being married to a narcissist, um, Rami, it's a lot of women are married to narcissists, whereas you even think that there's something wrong with you. Yeah. Because at the, at some point in my marriage, I actually thought that there is something wrong with me, mm. you know. And and you're going through so much. You're having children. Your body fluctuates. You know, you are fat. You are you've gained weight. You're losing weight. You're you know? asking yourself, should I put on makeup? Mm. Should I confidence maybe? Down. Should that confidence is shattered? Confidence is shattered. Mm. The confident girl that I used to be yes. totally disappeared. I can only imagine, I mean, eh, him eh, crushing eh, your eh, confidence. Cr crush, he crushed me, Rami. He crushed me. You know, there's, 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 um, um, I write in the book that there was a time I remember he got into bed with me. Mm. So I go to bed. Um, I bath every time before I go to yes, bed. Yes, girl. Get clap. <laughs> Not get clap, guys. Clean girls worldwide. <laughs> So yes. I get into bed. Wait a minute, I get aring. I don't have to sleep. Get up. Get on the king. Oh, you're not going to get up. Get on the king. No, Rami. I don't have to get perfume. Get perfume. You're going to get a lot of perfume. You're so nice. What? 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 But it's a lady perfume. Mm. And obviously, I know that um, side girls, when you get there, they're in their nice oh, lingerie. Thinking, they look good, nails are done, and all of that. They don't see you. They're not, they, you're not their husband. Mm. So they have to somehow please you, and they're able to do that. Whereas, nah, I'm breastfeeding your kids. I am making sure your kids are eating. I'm making sure the house is in order. And I'm even making this house is in order while you are gallivanting the streets, not helping me to mm. put the house in order. You understand? So men sometimes don't think about that because I sometimes hear conversations with men. Hey, I'm going to say, full panty. This woman is not even thinking that, must I wear a thong, must I? Because there's just so many things that you're worried about in running a household. But mm. I'm not saying that as women, but there should be a level of understanding of where we are at certain points in our lives in our marriages. Amen. Yes. I love that. Yeah. You know, we are still going to talk more about the character traits of a narcissist. Mm -hmm. But I want us to touch on you becoming a mother now mm -hmm. and dealing with a narcissist. Mm -hmm. Where were you mentally? Sure. Down in the pits, hey? Yes. I was depressed. You know, Rami, my helper at that moment, she was God sent. You know, that woman, she raised my children mm. at that age because I, I left my marriage when my eldest was, I think, four and the youngest was about two. Yes, around that age, but they were young. Mm. But during that period of time, she stood in for me. You know, Rami, that'd be a time ne, where as I'd come from work, Park the car, get into the house, and then I'd leave the house again on Monday. You know, when you have no desire for anything else, mm. right? And you'd lock yourself in your room, you would be crying, you would be praying, you know, and especially when you're a God fearing woman, to actually say that I'm giving up on my marriage, you're asking yourself that God, is this really yes. what you want? Should you I are try now harder? you are now fighting a battle of God, what will you think? And a battle of how do I save myself from this? My God. You understand? Mm. So it was it was it was hard in that way. And and like I said, a narcissist will make you look bad. 
I remember the time that he brought that woman into my house. Do you know what he said to his mother? He said to his mother that, no, the reason why I, I cheat on Pindi is because she doesn't iron for me. Igwa. Rami. It's always at that At that time, at that time, Rami, I am working. I have a helper mm. whom I have said, Ausi, kukupatle or or aineel. You know, you know, that's how I get that's how it, it works anyway. Mm. When you're gonna help in the house. Mm. So he would make it seem like I'm not woman enough. I'm not doing my wifely duties. And you know what? The mother actually backed him. You know, for the first time, and I can't say that I was disrespectful to her, but I told her off. I told her off that that cannot be a reason for you to actually say that this is why my son is cheating on me. Mm. You understand? So narcissists will paint such a picture, will will paint any a bad picture about you to everybody else because they have to look good and they have to make you look bad. That's right. And they also, you know, narcissists, they're actually quite smart because they, they study you. They, st- <laughs> they study every you. Every trait. Every trait about you. I mean, for him just to say that when he did it, whatever he did, if he cheated on me or he did whatever, he would say, no, baby, get mm. That's a narcissist. Why is it a or At any cost. At any cost. And he will, what he will also do is that whatever he does, he will, it will be that you made me do it. It would never be, I'm sorry, baby, mm, or I was wrong, wrong. Never. or it will be, I'm sorry, but you made me do it. Mm. You understand? So that's how narcissists work. And, and they, can, they, can, they can really make you doubt that, am I imagining things? And I always tell women that, you know, something about us that God has gifted us with, our gut feeling yes. is always right. Never wrong. Gut feeling. But a narcissist will tell you that you are wrong. A mm. narcissist will tell you that the sky is black when it's blue. <laughs> <laughs> and you end up believing you it. You end up believing it. Mm. You know? Mm. So that's, 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 that's a painful part about dealing with a narcissist. And that's why sometimes a lot of women struggle with leaving narcissists because they're also very good at love bombing. Right? Yeah. Whereas when he does something wrong, he may not even say, I'm sorry, but he'll come maybe if he's rich, maybe he'll buy you a new car. Oh, vacation, vacations, flowers, flowers oh. right? And then you are good. You are good for that week or for that month. Oh, my husband is back. Oh, my husband is changing. A month later. Same trend. <laughs> yes. So would you say a narcissist can ever change? Because our main thing as women is to try to change them. Is you know, hope? you know, Rami, I'm, I'm, I'm going through a journey right now of... Um, of thinking, there's God is there. Yes. God, God is alive. God loves us all the same way, mm-hmm. right? And and I think even going through this journey of realizing that the God, the love that God has for me, I know it's the same love that He has for my ex husband. That's right. And that also helped me in forgiving what happened in the marriage, forgiving myself what happened in the marriage, <coughs> and also forgiving Him, right? Because obviously I'm a human being. I'm gonna be like. The certain things that you did to me that I'm going to struggle to get through for a while, right? So with that being said, for a p- woman who is grounded in God, I can never ever say that God cannot change a person. Mm. So even with women, because women will come to me, oh, I don't know if I should leave this man or not. Mm. I always say to them, Kuba yes. kneel first and pray. Mm. You understand? But obviously, our spirituality is is different. Another yeah. one will, will think that I can't kneel in this case. God has abandoned me. Why am I going through all of this? Mm. So can a narcissist change? Absolutely, yes. Mm. Through the intervention of God, absolutely, yes. Mm. But if a narcissist doesn't know God, then I'm sorry, I cannot say that a narcissist can change. Mm. Sure. That's just how I can put it. <clears throat> You know what, after your statement that you said, what do you then say to God when you realize that I'm dealing with a narcissist? How's your attitude? Let's just say it's a woman of God who's married to a pastor Mm -hmm. and they're like, I'm noticing this. What do you then say to God? (sighs) Yeah, um, Rami, it's, you know, we we, we have to have deep personal conversations with God. It took me, I think, for me to even leave my marriage, to finally say, yes, I'm, I'm going ahead with the separation. Mm. It was a battle between me and God. It was a battle to say, how do you allow me to go through this? Eesh. And then yeah. after that, God, you say that you hate divorce. Mm. You hate divorce. So are you saying that you, your love for me, you say, I need to endure this pain? Surely this is not what you want for your daughter. Mm. 
And I battled with that. I battled to say, okay, I'm staying. But I think as I kept on praying, as I kept on praying, I got to hear God saying to me that the foundation of your marriage, I was not in it. Come on. So I am not in this. You cannot involve me in this. Hmm. You went, train. you went and did it your way. This is why you are here right now. And that's what we do. We get ourselves into situations, and it can be anything. It can be work, it can be a business, it can be business, it can be anything. anything. If you do not involve involve God from the beginning, and then you endure troubles going forward, why must you blame God? Mm. Why yep. must you say, God, save me? Mm, or where are where you? Where are you? When you when I, when I didn't involve him from the beginning. And I didn't, Rami. I didn't. I went to a marriage. I, and the thing is with me, God kept showing me, don't do it. Don't do it. And I only realized it only now after really developing my relationship with God mm. to say that, no, man, that day this happened. That day this happened. That was God speaking to me. But I still went ahead and did it. And then after that, I, 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 have, I want to kneel and say, God, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Mm. God wasn't in it from the beginning. Yo! What a painful Bad truth. foundation. Bad foundation. That that's the truth. Mm. And obviously, if you do not believe in God, you may think, oh, you may roll your eyes at this, but that is the truth. Mm. We cannot call upon God when we have put ourselves in this mess. Yo. And the only thing that we can hope for is just for God to save you out of it and start afresh. I remember I was having a conversation again with um, one of uh, one of the pastors that I know. Mm. And I don't know if you know in the Bible that it says that um, you should not marry a, a divorced woman. Mm. And, you know, the pastor set me down to say, it's in how you read the, scr the scripture, Pindi. Had you involved God in the beginning, you would not be a divorced woman. Mm. Maybe in that marriage, it never even existed to God. I never went to church to go and sign. You, you understand? We signed go home affairs. Home affairs. You understand? Mm. So maybe a marriage can still come, which will be something completely new, a proper covenant before the Lord. Mm. So sometimes we, we do fat and set, we do all these things before we get married. We, we don't involve God. And that's how things then start breaking down. Yeah. So but then let's talk to that woman at home whose foundation is very shaky, they can tell, but they have hope, like you had hope mm -hmm. that, you know what, I can change him. How do we, because now this conversation is for awareness, mm -hmm. how do you help that woman that, without them giving them a decision of stay or go, but how do you help them with a right mindset? I mean, people need to be honest with themselves. Mm. People really need to yeah. search themselves and when you search Rami mm. please do not look at that person that you're dealing with mm. first start with yourself first start with yourself that is my self-esteem that low that it's okay for a man to think that they can beat me up wow, gross. am <laughs> I not worthy enough for a man to think that I cannot be the only woman in his life and there has to be many other women in his life mm. Do I not love myself enough to think that I can have a better life out of this? And a better life doesn't necessarily mean a man when you leave that man. That's right. Because sometimes we think that we leave this relationship and I'm going to get a better man. Next. You should never ever leave a relationship telling yourself you're going to get a better man. You should leave a relationship telling yourself that you're going to better yourself. yourself. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's what a woman needs to do. You self-introspect. Mm. Because even with me, Rami... I honestly cannot blame my ex-husband for what he did. He showed me who he was. Mm. People show you who they are, believe them. Ish. So me blaming, hey, he did this, he did that, he did that, he did that. Yes, he did it. Mm. But that's who he is. Yeah. Why? What makes me think that I can change a grown man? Yo. What makes me think I can change a grown man? I can't change a grown man. A grown man will change because he wants to change. Mm. So now blaming this poor man for who he is, <laughs> you're twirling your own. You're twirling your own. If you're polygamist, you're polygamist. How do you change? If you're a basadi or a tabasadi, how do you change? If you're a gingame, how do you change? You understand? If he's not a present father, he's not a present father. And you knew 
from the conversations that you had with him, but yet you decided to go give him a baby, knowing very well this man does not want a baby yet. He's not the kind of man to be a father at that point in his life. Now he's absent in your child's life and you want to blame him? Yo. Oh. But I'm also not oblivious to the fact that people change mm. because you can also be with a good man now and then something just happens. And then they change for the worst. Along the way. Mm. Right? But then that's when as well, we always, I always say to people that background of a person is very important. Because mm. some, some of the times when people change within a relationship or a marriage, it's past traumas. Mm. But we don't have conversations about this. What, what happened? I mean, I got here. You asked me, tell me, but who's Pindi? Yeah. And I had to tell you, oh, I grew up this. Now you know, oh, she grew up with a mother and a father. Her mindset is probably in a whole nucleus family believe, mm. okay, sh this is what happened, the father lost, the dad, Kimotswana. So we don't have these conversations when we are dating. We are consumed with butterflies. That's right. And these conversations about understanding where you come from, they are able to tell you of the kind of human being that you are dealing with. Mm. So that even when he changes within the marriage, you know that, oh, this comes from this. Mm -hmm. When he's an absent father, you know that, oh, he grew up with a father. He doesn't really know how to be a father. Mm. He doesn't love me the way I want him to love me because he had a bad relationship with the mother. Mm. He doesn't know the love of a woman. He doesn't know how to receive my love because he never received love from any other woman. Sure. So those are the things that we need to understand about our partners. And it's, a, it's the same way around even for men. Mm. Because, Rami, at the end of the day, men also go through the things that we go through as women. Well, there are men who True. get raw deals, hey? Yeah. Raw <laughs> deals. And, and then you're like, oh. you know? So those are the things that we need to think about yeah. for that woman who is sitting there and asking herself that, do I leave or do I not leave? Mm. Have those conversations with yourself. Sure. Then you will know. And often women know. Hey? They know. Often women know. Mm. It's just that thing, like I said, what will people say? Oh, yeah. I can't do this. Others, it's financial. Yeah. I can't leave. This man supports me financially. Mm. So but I is have your, to enjoy. Do I have to enjoy this? But sure. is, your, is your peace worth the Range Rover? Mm. Is your peace worth... The comfort of that house. You know, Rami, when I, I lived in a beautiful house in Haritis, overlooking the dam and all of that. Yo, but I can I tell houses. you, can, can I tell you, when I moved into my small town house, oh, Rami, the peace. That's a The peace. Whereas you know that I'm in my bed alone and I'm not expecting that my husband should be coming home. Mm. Do you know that peace of knowing that I don't have a husband? That's why I'm sleeping alone. Warubala. Mm. Rather than waiting for somebody. Ish, and then it's six o'clock in the morning. He has not shown up. Do you know that pain? You will toss and turn mm. in the middle of the night. And then he has switched his phone off. Yeah. Is that worth it? Yeah. Not. Sure. But woman, we, we say it's okay because of what it is that we gain to benefit. A benefit that just doesn't give you peace at mm. all. Sure. You know, one thing that attracted me to you is the title of your book, mm. A Marriage Built on Lies. You know, somebody may be sitting at home and they're like, but Pindi, why did you go through with all the lies when you could see everything evident? What is it that you can introspect today? Because I feel like the more we are conversing, I feel I hear the word introspect. Mm. Why do you think you allowed all these lies? standard. Mm. What is it that you wanted to merge within mm. you? You know, Remy, as I mentioned to you before, it was ticking the box. Mm. I wanted I wanted to get married. Yes. And that is no lie. I wanted to get married at any cost. And you know, people have also asked me that you grew up with a mother, you grew up with a father, you were loved. You understand? I mean, Rami, I went to good schools. Mm. My parents really did their best to give me a good upbringing, you know. So a person looks at me that, how does a girl like you, who has such a good upbringing, a solid family structure, end up finding themselves in such a marriage? But Rami, people do not understand that even in a solid structured family, mm. there are certain things that we seek as human beings, that certain gaps were not placed in, 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 in your upbringing, mm. right? And we tend to take that for granted. Mm. My dad was a provider. I had everything I needed, you understand? Mm. But 
our fathers back then, they were not socialized to say, oh, my baby girl, I, I love, love you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful, you know. And we can't blame our fathers for that because it is how they were they socialized. Were That's yeah. how they were raised. I mean, even me as a mother, I'm sure when I'm older, there's certain things that my sons are going to say, mommy, you didn't do this for me. Mm. You didn't do this for me. Even though that I know that I'm doing the best that I can to give them the best I'm bringing. And those are the things that cause certain traumas that we end up finding ourselves in certain situations. Yeah. So I think for me, it has always been that thing that I will do anything to get that you are, you, I'm going to marry you, you, you belong, you, you are a beautiful woman, I'm going to be faithful to you and all of that. And that's why even when the lies kept coming and he kept saying, I'm going to marry you, for me it was like, oh, he finds me beautiful, he wants to be with me, I am worthy of this. Just purely because of the certain gaps that I missed in my upbringing. And not because there's something wrong with my upbringing. It's just how life is. Mm. There's certain, you, you can't have everything, Rami. That's right. You can't have everything as a child. And there will be certain traumas. It's only that when you are older, you need to take responsibility and say, okay, this is where I'm failing. Because my parents didn't fail me. That's right. They didn't fail me. I failed myself, yourself. right? Mm. And I just need to be aware that, okay, Pindi, you struggle with this. You struggle with this in your personality. You struggle with this in your character. And being being aware then allows me to say, I cannot accept such a, s certain behavior from this human being to treat me this way. Mm. I cannot allow certain things to happen this way in my life because I am now aware. Mm. So people lack awareness. Yeah. That's why sometimes they find themselves in these kinds of situations. I lacked awareness. I definitely lacked awareness mm. in, in, in the things that caused me to be in that situation. Mm. So how brutal was the narcissistic behavior? Oh. <laughs> We're still dealing with it. You know, that. as we are concluding. <laughs> <laughs> still dealing with it. I mean, are you for real? No, I am. I mean, he's not present in my children's lives. Mm. He's not present at all. He's not... Rami is not even giving us. I think Project 23 rent or 24 rent yeah. right now. He's not giving me 24 rent to go and buy bread for his sons. You understand? And Rami, I can tell you now, and I, I have I have conversations with my sons here. Mm. Because I tell my sons, I'm like, boys, please know that I'm not saying you guys should not see your father. Your father is not seeing you because when he says, Pindi, it's December time. Can I see the children? I then say, where have you been? past 12 months. Mm. For me, it's as if your children are dead to you. You don't know what are they eating. You don't know which school they go to. Mm. How much is school fees? Are they dressed? Am I even being a good mother to your children? You don't even know that. Mm. So now you're asking me, it's December time. So you're going to see these children in December time and then you're going to disappear again for the next 12 months. And I tell them, I was like, he's going to come back and say, your mother didn't want me to see you. Whereas that is not the case. I want you boys to see your dad. You deserve to see your dad. I grew up with a father. I know how it is to have a father. Yeah. And I would like for you to also have a father. Yes. But the man that I, am, I was married to, he is that kind of man that's going to paint a back picture to my sons. And I can see it. I, I'm seeing it happen. I can only hope that it will not really pan out that way. I hope God is going to surprise me mm. and say he's a changed man. But I'm seeing it happen that one day he's going to tell my boys that your mother didn't allow me to see you. Yeah. So that's the narcissist I'm dealing with. But I am making, my sons are growing up, I am making them away. Mm. And, and, and um, because they also got to know the woman after me mm. and they got to see the treatment she also endured when he married their dad, I'm able to say that your dad did this to Mama Whoever, mm. which is the, the woman before me because they've got children. Yes. And your father did this to me. Your father then did this to Mama Mang Mang. The next. So even when you get a certain type of treatment from your dad, if your dad could do this to this one, to this one, to this one, do not no think that the problem is you, my mm. children. The problem is not you. Mm. The problem is your father. You understand? And I have mm. to have these conversations with my children because I don't want them to think that they are being neglected because of who they are because children tend to personalize things. Yeah. Yeah, so it's important that we actually have 
these conversations with them so that they understand. Obviously, you're going to have it in an age-appropriate way, so you can't go Correct. too deep into the details, but have the conversations with them and always know how it is that they're feeling when they have a narcissist dad. Mm. Yes. Sure. You know what? I'm touched, and I want us to address there at home women who just left a narcissist. Mm. Where were you when you just left him? You know, I mean, also considering the fact that you had to take care of your children alone. Mm. I can only imagine the financial burden. Mm. I mean, you do need the help. Of no course. matter how much, you can no, have it all together. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. But Hong, yes. take me through that and also addressing women who are going through the same thing at home. It's not an easy journey. It's really not an easy journey. Mm. You know, I have so much respect for men who are able to separate the woman that they were married to or dated or, and life happened to them, but they still take care of their children, right? I really wish I had that. Yeah. And Rami, I honestly um, believe that I'm also the type of woman that if you said to me that, Pindi, listen, I don't have a thousand rand, but can I at least give you 500 rand? I'm the type of woman that will say, I appreciate that you told me Better this. Than I will take the 500 rand, you know. So that's the problem with narcissists. And women who have left narcissists, they need to know that it's not them. It's, 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 it's who that person is, like I said. And sadly, we decided to have children with these men. We decided mm. to get married to these men, to date these men. So it, 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 it's a difficult journey yeah. in that as well, the narcissist sometimes, they were also, you know, narcissists love attention, right? Mm. They mm. love attention because I remember it took me a long while, even after the divorce, to be like, I'm not taking this because they can be very abusive as well in, in their speech and how they treat you and all of that. Break away. Yeah. Break away. Mm. He's going to say something because the moment you start answering him in a certain way, for him it's a kick. I'll record it. For him, it's or a like kick. <laughs> you know, right. Besides mm. recording, for him, it's a kick. You're giving him a kick. God, he loves knowing that it's I still get to wonder. you. I still get to you, you know? So a woman who's left an assist, let it go. Yeah. Let it go. And I know that our situations are different. People always ask me that, Pindi, why don't you take him to court? Mm. I always say to them that, you know what? Oh, guys, peace of mind is everything to me. Mm. I can just imagine, because I'm a very sensitive person, I can just imagine how drained I would be having to go and fight and tell a man that support your children. He knows he's got children, he Rami. Knows. He knows. A man knows that he has children. But mm. like I'm saying, our financials um, um, are, are different. The way we, how we, our incomes are different. Mm. Pindi maybe can afford to give her children a certain lifestyle. Another woman can. She has to go to court. Yeah. But can you imagine how draining it is when you have to deal with a narcissist in court? Yes. It takes you back. It takes you back. So for me, my advice is that break away and separate yourself mentally from the mental abuse because it's mental abuse and emotional abuse. Mm. Like tell yourself that I'm going to court. This is the goal to get money. If he says this, if he says this, if he says that, leave it. Yeah. Don't come home fighting with him and do that. Deal with it legally and break away. Mm. And the best way to really deal with it is legally when you're mm. married to a narcissist because if you're going to try and communicate with him mm. and do this emotionally and mentally, it's going to completely break you down. You can't compete with a narcissist, eh? Sure, you can't. You can't. Mm -mm. So mm. that's what women need to do. Take the legal route, let your lawyer deal with it or the courts deal with it. If he sends you messages, ignore, 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 mm. ignore. Break away from a narcissist. Sure. That's it. So but then I know a man will be watching this conversation and they will say, are there women who are narcissists? Of course. Oh, yes, there are. There are a lot of women who are narcissists as well. Mm. You know? I actually read somewhere that um, as human beings, we all have a certain percentage of narcissism. Mm. It's all how we allow it to, to grow in us. Okay. You know? um, so there are definitely women who are narcissists. There are women who will say, you're not going to see the kids. Yeah. Um, you're not going to see the kids because you left me. Mm. You understand? So they're going to make this poor man be a bad person to the kids purely because this man left her. Yes. And people should... Gosh, I, I prefer for a person to leave me than a person to cheat on me. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, go! <laughs> go! You know? Yes. But, 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 but it's, it's those kinds of things where 
they will make the poor man look bad mm. to the children or even look bad to other people to say this is what he did and all of that. I mean, even with me, people sometimes say, hey, we need to hear the husband's story. Yeah, <laughs> you know we get that on yes. our podcast yes. a lot. Like, we need to hear the husband's story. <laughs> uh, he, he's got a right to do that. Yeah, He definitely has a right to do that. But it should not stop me from being able to write about my experience with you. It's yes, my experience it's with yours. you. Yes, oh, and, you own and it. I own it. It's how you made me feel. It's what I went through with you. I'm, mm. I, I, if I want to share it, I, sh- I should be able to share it. You know? The same way if you're going to say, yo, Pindi is a liar, guys. Everything written in that book is a lie. Go for it. Mm. You have the platform to mm. do that. You understand? Yes. Sure. So where is Pindi, Lena? Oh, Pindi, now she's in a great hey, space. Yeah, she looks amazing. Oh, you don't Pindi. look like what you've been through, okay? No, I'm not saying there are no challenges, Rami. Yeah, you know, it's no, life. They are there. Yes, it's, it's life. There are challenges. Single parenting is a lot, mm. right? Mm. But when I look at those faces, I'm like, ah, oh, it's worth it. <laughs> when I look at my sons, it's like, oh, it's like, oh, mommy, mommy. It's, it's worth it. Yeah. So I am happy. And at this moment in my life, my focus is on God. Mm. It it is on God. Would I love to get married again? Absolutely. Ooh, boys, <laughs> boys in the atmosphere. Absolutely, yes. I always tell people I, I love like, women like you I who don't give say, up. No, I don't give up. I don't know. Rami, I've got so much love, love to give. Love is beautiful. I've got so much love you to know? give. Lera tole na langi ma la tuata kule fa ba tu tuata kushera. You know, yes. Yeah. And, and Rami, I grew up. I have parents who love each other. Yeah. And my, I'm not saying that my parents' marriage has been perfect. Mm. You know, every man marriage has had challenges. That's right. But my parents' marriage is beautiful, mm. right? And I feel that me experiencing their 40 plus years of marriage. It, it, my six years bad experience can't take away can't, uh, take, take away what I saw with my no, mom and dad. I still no. think I can get married to a man like my dad, mm. you know. And I can say I'm not saying my dad is perfect, but I still the basics that are there that I want in a man that I see them you in know? my dad, and I think that I can actually have them. Oh, Rami, no, Pindi is in a good space. Mm. Um, welcoming love. Yeah. Giving love, mm. you know. Love I it. just wish I had more, uh, some million dollars. You That's know all I wish I had. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> it must come, it must come, it must come. But yeah. yeah, no, I'm really good. And I have honestly been blessed, you yeah. know. And also, as well, the support that I get from my readers, mm. you know, just also sharing my story. It, it gives me some form of fulfillment oh, yeah. to say, you know what? If, if I went through this, and I can tell you that, you know what, Rami, I went through this, you're going to be okay. Mm. Oh, the joy it gives me, Rami. Purpose. Yes, absolutely purpose. Sure. Yeah. So in a nutshell, talking about purpose, what is it that you know very well God wants to use you for looking at your journey? You know, God told me that, Pinda, you're a healer. Ah, yeah, shabosh, kata. I am a healer, mm. Rami, and I'm not healing headaches or anything like uh, that. Uh, <laughs> I'm healing the heart. Yeah. I am healing the heart, and that is my ultimate goal. Yes. I want to heal hearts. And um, at first, I told myself that I want to heal hearts of women, but I also want to heal hearts of men. Of men. You know, because oh. men are also going through a lot. That's true. And we are ignoring them because we have told ourselves that a man must not show emotion. Mm. That a man cannot be abused. Mm. That a man should in a mast. Yes. And it is killing our men. That's right. So I've told myself that my purpose is to heal human beings, to heal their hearts. And I am going to move forward and keep healing hearts for as long as I have breath in my body. Wow. Yeah. Amen. Yo, I love that. <laughs> so your next project, what are you busy with right now? I'm writing my other book. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully next month or July it will be released. Awesome. And just to give you a background on the book, it's to basically tell people the realities of what happens after divorce. Yes. And to say to them that it gets better. Yeah. They should not despair. It gets better. There's Oh. There's hope. Ooh, I love yes. you. I love your work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, That Rami. is beautiful. Yes. So where can people find your books? So my books is available at Exclusive Book, Bargain Books, mm-hmm. Take a Lot, Yes. right? And Yet You Married Him is also available online. Okay. So they can buy it online. A Marriage Built Online, we're still working on getting it online. All because right. I do get people from Kenya 
and um, Malawi, Uganda, asking me how can I get your book when they see my TikToks or Instagram and all mm-hmm. of that. So I'm also working on getting a marriage built on nice also on. Mara, you are a global brand. Girl, when I look at you, I'm like, I know you're on. Kai Kuta, man. For the mere fact that you honored us. Yeah. No, Thank man. You so God much. bless you. Thank God you so bless much you. Thank you for having me. And so, God bless you too. Amen. Rami. Thank you so yes. much. On social media, where can people find you? I'm available on TikTok, Pindile Yende. Mm-hmm. Um, Instagram, Pindile underscore Yende. Okay. Facebook, Pindile Yende, as well as Twitter. I'm not so active on Twitter because I, I just like to save my energy. I feel like yeah, so, 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 it, it becomes a lot for me. Yeah. But TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, I'm available there. That's as well. beautiful. Yes. And if people also want to get, so I make time as well, maybe once a week, where if people want to have a chat with me on TikTok, mm. They can do that. They send me DMs and I respond. I have a conversation. You respond. Yes. I mean, you responded mine. Yes. I was so humble. Yes, I do that. I really try to make time because people are really hurting out yes. there. And for somebody to say, you know what? I see you. Mm-hmm. I hear you. I may not be able to give you the best advice because I'm not an expert at the yeah. matter. I only share my experience. But the fact that I see you, I hear you, and this is the best that I can say to you, mm-hmm. it says it, it helps a lot of people. Amen. Yes. You. Thank you so much yeah. for sharing your journey with Thank us. You. It's so beautiful to see a woman who has been hurt, but they came out and you are alive. I am so alive. Amen. Thanks to God. Amen. Yes. <laughs> sure. And you at home, if you have watched us until this far, make sure you follow Pindile on all her social media platforms. You won't regret. There's so much to learn from her. I feel like the time allocated was just not enough, but make sure you follow her on all her platforms. And from me, the host with the most, Queen Rami, it is goodbye for now.